there, Grant McComey here, and welcome to this week's edition of Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. Well, fall is definitely here. You can feel it in the air and you can see it in the trees. You can even see it at wetland areas like Fern Hill in Washington County, a magnet for the wildlife. In fact, that's the backdrop for this week's getaway, wildlife and wetlands, a place that will inspire you, a place you'll admire and you may just wish to explore even more. We're taking you to Oregon's southern coast a place where the freshwater meets the sea at South Slough Estuary. It's a road once taken you'll never want to leave. The Cape Arago Highway skirts a lonesome section of southern Oregon coastline, but it leads you past so many intriguing sights and sounds that you may wonder, why have I never traveled this way before? It's one of those trails that just keeps beckoning you further on. It's just a matter of how much you're, you're wanting or can do at the time. Make time to wander the trail after you've checked into a jewel of a campground called Sunset Bay State Park. We have 139 sites. It has a nice mix of both full hookup sites, water electric, tent sites, and then we have the yurts. The yurts offer visitors without tents, trailers, or RVs the chance to camp any time of year. All you need is a sleeping bag and then a spirit of adventure to tackle the short hike to nearby Cape Arago State Park. They see uh, a nice place to look at the shore, they see the signs, they see the, the, the boardwalk and the railing and stop to be surprised. Many visitors are surprised at the front row seat they have to watch varied wildlife that put on quite a show. It's a wonderful spot to haul out and rest for a while. A reef that has on it a large island and there are four different kinds of seals and sea lions that haul out here to rest. Come on up! You'll want to make some time to come up the road five miles and visit a piece of Oregon coastal paradise that's been preserved since 1974. The South Slough National Estuarine Research Preserve, a visitor center, introduces you to the area with multimedia and hands-on exhibits that put you in touch with a rare piece of Oregon's coastal environment. It's undisturbed, so it's not developed. You do have a little bit more interaction with wildlife. It's quiet, it's peaceful, and you yeah. can kind of picture, you know, what life may have been like years ago here. There's over 5,000 acres to explore, plenty of elbow room here at South Slough, and plenty of trails, including this one. It's called Hidden Creek, a little over a mile in length, has this wonderful boardwalk out over the estuary, and a stunning view. Be sure to bring your camera to check out the slough itself. I always tell people, look for the thing that looks like a treehouse because that's kind of what it looks like. That's a nice two-level deck where you can look out over the water and see some of the marshland area and you can see the Winchester arm of the slough as well. The preserve is open throughout the calendar year, but locals admit some seasons offer more surprises along the way. I'm a birder, so for me, this is the beginning of the most exciting part of the season. It's exciting during the winter months to see some of these migratory ducks. I would definitely recommend planning to spend your day here, bring a lunch, bring water. You don't have to have hiking boots, but wear comfortable shoes and dress in layers because the weather changes really quickly within hours. <laughs> just a really beautiful place and whatever season you come you'll be amazed and I think it'll be worth the effort to come find us. <laughs> it is worth your time to check out South Slough. They offer not only guided hikes across their property but also canoe and kayaking paddle trips. A wonderful way to explore a unique piece of Oregon. You can find all the details and directions on the Travel Oregon website. I am always on the lookout for choice wildlife viewing opportunities and I have a good one for you this week, especially as the salmon runs hit their stride this fall season. So grab your rain gear, don't forget the camera, we're heading to the Sandy River on an outdoor tip of the week. Fish managers are up to their elbows with thousands of coho salmon that have returned to dozens of Oregon hatcheries this month. Sandy River hatchery manager Ken Bourne hasn't seen anything like it in his 34 years with the state agency. 
It definitely has the makings to be in a huge run. We've handled almost 7,000 fish already, and we've had very little rain until today. We're going to be swamped with fish. Biologists say abundant food in the ocean is the secret behind this year's record-setting return of a million-plus coho salmon to Oregon rivers and streams. In fact, there are so many coho salmon returning to hatcheries that thousands of the surplus fish are loaded into totes, packed aboard trucks, donated and destined to help others through the Oregon Food Bank. As many people that are hurting right now as far as jobs and stuff, it's a win-win program. It's a great deal. State hatcheries offer visitors some of the best salmon viewing opportunities in small creeks that flow through the hatchery grounds. It's quite a sight to see, and Oregon hatcheries are open to the public each day. You can learn more on the Travel Oregon website. Until next week, for Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McColmey.